I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Honey, anybody calls, I'll be back at 3 o'clock. Eight passenger crew's about 2.15. Oh, Bob. Oh, good morning, Taft. How are you? <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations on what? Well, haven't you read the morning paper? Oh, no, no. I, I've been down in Palm Springs. I just got back. Been shooting fashion models down there. Well, it broke into Willa Parsons' column this morning. When I'm blabbed, huh? Now, look, Taft, th this story is not true. Ah, uh, Bob, this story has nothing to do with girls? I categorically deny each. I said you were going to make a record album. Record album? Sure. Me? Do do doing what? Why, singing. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of, Taft. Luella quoted the disc jockey, Fred Beck. Luella? Fred Beck? Yeah. Oh, Fred. That guy must spin around on his own records. What? He's never heard me sing. He hasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, once. Yeah, we were riding in a car with a couple of girls, and I sang to them, yeah. I've got it. I've got it. He started this album thing just to get back at me because he's sore at me. Sore? Oh, Bob, he must have thought you had something. I did. I had the two girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Dad. I, I'm not going to make an album. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear it, Bob. I was hoping to represent you. Represent me, Taft? I'm a photographer. Well, until somebody heard him sing, Perry Como was a barber. <laughs> well, I'm no Como. And even if I could sing, why should I? I got a wonderful business here. <laughs> Make singing a hobby. Taft, I I I've got a hobby. <laughs> Hi, Hoppy. Hi, er, um... <laughs> Oh, Bob, it's so good to feel your arms around me again. Oh, honey, I've missed you so much. <laughs> she acts like this after just a two-day separation? <laughs> well, it wasn't that long. She was in Power Shrinks, too. <laughs> but it's been 30 minutes since you left me at the airport. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bob, I rushed to get here ahead of the other models. At last, we're alone. Oh, well, don't mind me. I'm a lamp. <laughs> No, pay, pay. Look, you know something. You're overdoing it even for you. Now, what favor do you want? Bob, I was so anxious to see you, I didn't even stop for lunch. No? Gonna use my picture on the cover of your album? Oh, I got it. No lunch, but you did stop for a newspaper. Mmm, I love Luella. <laughs> well, honey, I love her too, but I'm not gonna make an album. Why not? Oh, I'm no singer. Oh, you certainly are. Oh. When we park on Mulholland Drive and you sing to me. It just get ecstatic. See, Bob? Well, she also gets ecstatic reading Luella. <laughs> now, you two just forget him. Bob! You'll see. Hey, hey, come in, boss. I was practicing in the studio. Yeah, you... T practicing what, huh? It's a surprise. Who? You count ten, then come in. No, no, she'll see. Look, I... Bob, honey, oh, I, I hey, wanna... Look, honey, you just run along. Uh, can't try to take you to lunch. You haven't asked me. No, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, Taft, so, so nice to see you again. Uh -huh. Sensational figure, huh? Oh, great. She eats a grape for breakfast and a raisin for dinner. What about lunch? I'd love to, thank you. Schultze? I'm here, boss. Schultze. Presenting the new recording sensation, Bob oh. Collins and oh. his bobolinks. Bobolinks? <laughs>
impression the boss didn't like our idea? I didn't. I got the impression he despised it. <laughs> After I worked so hard to dream up that number. With Robbie over you. Yes, me, I think that's what killed us. With Robbie over you. Come on. Yeah, well, it's a lot better than that Italian rock and roll thing you wanted to do. Chain a Luna, Mitch of Mary, Mama Mia, read my diary. Oh, now, listen, Pete, that's a surefire number. I used to use that in my act. Yeah, before I became a secretary, I worked on the stage. What'd you do, drive or ride shotgun? <laughs> oh, you're a small riot. Well, you know, talent amateur, if it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be any bobolinks. Ah, uh, who needs it? I can start my own group. Honey, you are a group. <laughs> If I'm a group, you're a quartet. Come on, don't you start. Who's starting with you? What was that with my brother? I don't know what's a tavern. This fight will be conducted according to the rules of the California State Secretary's Commission. And there will be no low blows, such as references to age, weight, or a marital status. And my buddy opponents will come out typing. <laughs> Come on, now. Oh, hi, Shorty. Oh, hi, Mr. Oh, hi. Yeah. Say, Shorty, I just read this article about Bobby doing a record album. I think it's wonderful. Oh, we think so, too. To meet the Bobolinks. Martha, Bertha, and Schultzer. Uh, Schultzer. I'm going to have to change my name to something like Ertha. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. But tell me, what are the Bobolinks? Oh, we're singing group. Oh. You know, like the Maguire sisters, only with a little more mileage. <laughs> <laughs> We want the boss to let us sing with him. Uh, Mr. Helm, uh, can we try out something on you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I trust you mean musically. <laughs> sure. Come on, girls. Let's do channel them. Yeah, yeah good idea. idea. You're over here. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How, how's he going to judge if the boss isn't here? I'll do his part. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Good. All right. You ready now? Sure. Right. Now, now watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. 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 Place of business. Well, I, Bobby, I, I just read the item about you making a record album, and I've uh, got the I, most I, wonderful going, idea for a merchandising tie-in to sell furniture. I am furniture. Bobby, it is brilliant. It is just the most. Look, I had the art department make up a rough sketch look, look, of the I, album cover as we see it. Now, me you see, this couple is sitting on a love seat, listening to you sing, and of course, the album will have a real catchy title, like yes. "Music for Lovers Who Love to Listen on a Larry Gravener Love Seat." <laughs> you, you get the tie-in, Bobby? It's subtle, but I do get it. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Larry loves it. Yes. He figures we'll sell 5,000 love seats. Harp, may I say this to you? I have no intention of ever in this world making an album. But oh, Bobby, you I, oh, wait, 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 Parsons. Did she get a look at you? I'm saying. Come up, please, please. Patience, I shall. You see, I was just wrapping my soy bream and watercress sandwich on Minenberg bread for my bird watching job. And suddenly the name Bob Collins left at me from Miss Parsons' column. Well, oh, Pamela. You can imagine my surprise and delight to read on and discover that my eagle was turning in to a canary. You rascal, you've never sung to me. <laughs> 
Colonel, why didn't I wear my parachute? Of course, perhaps it's just as well. Uh, Pamela. You might have turned my girlish head. Well, maybe it's not too late. <laughs> See? <laughs> you, you are along with all these nice people. Oh, but you haven't heard my idea for your record Pamela, album. I'm not interested in ideas. So I'm not going to make an album. Mr. Collins, a singer is only as good as his musical accompaniment. Pamela. Under this cover, I have 12 of the world's finest musicians. Let me... <laughs> Twelve musicians? Harry Como has his Mitchell Ayers, Dinah Shaw, her Harry Zimmerman, but you... <laughs> Get the bird, huh? <laughs> Presenting Pamela Livingstone's feathered Philharmonic. <laughs> Take your molting music. With this woodland symphony behind you, bird watchers everywhere will clamor for your album. <laughs> I guarantee, Mr. Collins, you will be moved. the office, but it was pandemonium. Oh, how come? This article that, that Luella Parsons... D didn't you see the paper? No, I've been in the beauty shop all morning. Fred Beck gave Luella... <laughs> Fred Beck gave... By the way, how do you like my new hairdo? Well, fine. It makes your face look a little round. Anyway, Fred Bank gave Luella Parsons a story that I'm going to make an album. Well, you've just never seen anything like it. Agents are after me. Schultz and her friends have organized a trio. Uh, Harvey Helm, he has a merchandising tie-in. And Pamela Livingstone wants me to record with birds. I, uh, I stopped by the Derby to have lunch with Bob Cobb, and two guys from record agencies cornered me, and I had to leave. How does it argue? You've just never seen anything like it. Everybody in town is talking about it. It's just the most fantastic thing that's ever happened to me. Do you really think it makes my face look round? After I... <laughs> you never heard a word I said, did you? I certainly did. What? Well, you said it made my face look round. About making an album. Oh, who's going to make an album? I... <laughs> Pamela Livingstone and her performing pelicans. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Margaret. They've got every kind of sound you've ever heard on hi-fi records today. Trains crashing through the night, women screaming. they even got a bullfight. A bullfight? Yeah, one whole side devoted to the bull. L listen. What's on the back side? The matador. In this record, the bull wins. Ah! Oh. You think that's funny? They even want me to make an album. So you know. Who? Me. Doing what? Singing. Singing? You? Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Luella Parsons had... had, had <laughs> Luella... It is funny, but it's not hysteric. I do have a voice, you know, better than most people you hear. Some people think that it's just, just sensational. <laughs> who? <laughs> Girls, that's who. You'd be surprised how many of them I've held spellbound. <laughs> yeah, but that line of yours. No, now listen. Say, there's an idea for a record. Oh, for Talk about one side devoted to the bull. <laughs> Margaret, look, it, it... Never mind! It wasn't so terribly, terribly amusing when your son made a record. Stevie 
he can sing. Oh, but he can you call that singing what he does? That the dee dee hoo 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 hoo. Golly. You don't need a voice to do that, just indigestion. Oh, no, it does a lot of rest. Oh, well, that's just a phase. The people are ready for music to make a comeback. They, they were even begging me to make a record. They practiced. Oh, it's Harvey. One of the chief beggars? <laughs> I just want you to get a load of this pit. Just, Bobby. just listen. Bobby, can you come right... Hello, Margaret. Hey, Bobby, can you come right down and shoot the album cover now? You see, we've hey, got the merchandising tie-ins all set. Bobby, we are going to sell thousands of love sheets. Harp, harp, this harp. is going to be the biggest furniture harp, pro just promotion. May I interrupt you, please? Uh, yeah. Harp, as I told you this morning, I haven't the slightest interest in the world in making a record. Oh, but Bobby... Harp, 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 we... I thank you, and I deeply appreciate... The, the confidence that you and Mr. Gravener place in my vocal efforts. But although there are certain members of my family who do not share this. But now, Bobby, do you mind if, we, if we, I we, Please, please, Harv. Now, flattered as I am, there's an old saying, shoemaker stick to your last. I'm a photographer. Get yourself a singer. Well, that's exactly what we did do. Because in the... <laughs> you did. Well, sure. Well, didn't Chuck call you? You got Chuck? Chuck, <laughs> my nephew, is, is, is making my album. Your album? Well, Taft Triber took the deal. My agent? <laughs> I ran into him just as we left your office. Oh, well, and we began amusing. talking about, well, yes, it was, because we started talking about you as a singer. And I don't know, <laughs> the more we talked about it, the funnier it got. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. I mean, you as a singer. <laughs> if he's a singer, I'll eat my hat. You stood right here and said you couldn't make an I album. I didn't say couldn't. I said wouldn't. Look, Bob, you're the one who turned this deal down, so now I've set it up with Chuck and his chicks, and it's too late to do anything else about it, that's all. Chuck and, and his who's? <laughs> oh, did, did you hear about that? No, I didn't. Well, he's going to record with a trio of cute little teenagers, and we're calling it Chuck and his chicks. <laughs> You've stolen my whole presentation. Sure. Certainly. I had Bob and his bobolinks, three gorgeous girls, all beauty contest winners. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'd better tell the kids. They're rehearsing in my office. All right, tell them. Chuck! Oh, Chuck! Yeah, Mr. Shriver? Will you and the chicks come down here, please? Okay. Actually, it's the chicks who came up with the suggestion. Look, I don't care who came up with the suggestion. In show business, there's a very strict code against, against piracy. And believe me, yes, Mr. Charlie. Are you? <laughs> uh, these, um, <laughs> these are teenagers, are they? <laughs> oh, on a record. Who's going to see them? Boss, I guess we'd still rather sing with you. Yeah, you want us back? We'll be the bobolinks again. Shut, shut. Oh. <laughs> These are the beauty contest winners? <laughs> well, like you said on the record, who's gonna see them? <laughs> Girls, was the bobolink trio Bob's idea? What no, did you say? no, it was ours. Uh, yeah, but he turned uh, us down. Wait a so minute, when I... we heard about Chuck, we thought that we... Never could... mind! <laughs> In show business, an idea belongs to everybody. <laughs> I coming along. Oh, swell, Mr. Shriver. Sure. Uh, come on, chicks, let's show. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> you wait back here. Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. And I'm here. Ready? Okay, go. L listen, you're I'll doing... I'm in love with you, Chucky. These are my chicks. They number three. I get my kicks when they're with me. <laughs> I love you one. I love you all. You're lots of fun. We have a ball. <laughs> Chucky. I've got a flash for you four spooks. You'll be a smash like Schultz's youth. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh! Oh, my knee! Oh! Oh! Well, I, I'm sorry, but I, I went out 
and bought a steel uke. <laughs> you bought a steel? <laughs> out, everybody, out, out, out! <laughs> You mean everybody else? <laughs> I work here. <laughs> right, boss? <laughs> I, I mean, but like before, remember? When everybody's... and I... and you... Ouch. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Ten percent of my fractured kneecap? <laughs> Bob, don't be so upset. If you want to make an album, we'll make... Look, I don't need you or any other agent to make an album. I've got a tremendous organization behind me. Really? You know how many bird watchers there are in this country? <laughs> they want to even furnish my orchestra for me. So, you go back to Chuck and his clocks. Oh, Bob. I'll make my own. <laughs> <laughs> I have just acquired two new musicians for our orchestra. The first is a red tufted woodpecker. Woodpecker? Divine percussionist. And to achieve that echo effect so popular now, a Bryce Canyon whippoorwill. Whippoorwill. <laughs> when do we record? Record. Pamela, this is the gentleman to talk to, Tad Shriver, biggest agent in Hollywood. <laughs> Pamela. Tab Shriver's office is right at the end of the hall. He is definitely the gentleman to handle your orchestra for you. Really? Oh, yes, he handles all the biggest. Harry James, Ray Anthony, Phil Harris, all, all, all. But my musicians fly. He ha Well, have you seen Phil Harris and his bunch lately? <laughs> <laughs> Take your birds down there and make him listen to an audition of each and every one of your little feathered virtuosos. But do you think such an important agent will handle them? Oh, yes, this one will. He's for the birds. <laughs> Bob, 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 please, turn off your bird watcher. Oh, hi, hi, Dad. Oh, Bob, she opened the cage. My office is like an aviary. <laughs> <laughs> Birds, oh, Bob, call her off, please. I'll do anything you ask. I'll set up a recording session for you tonight. Oh, no, no, not for me, Tassie. I can't sing. Oh, no, Bob, no, I think Bob, it's... Bob, you have a great voice. Why, uh, just ask this beautiful, sensitive, cultured, intelligent model. Why, she gets ecstatic when you sing, don't you, Peggy? <laughs> well, the only time I've ever heard him sing was when we were parked on Mulholland Drive. <laughs> you see, Tad, that's the only time I really sing, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Igor! I finally got him down off the chandelier. But you come in here solo now. Oh, Bob. Bob, oh, please record tonight. No, see, I have a date with Peggy tonight. Oh, Bob. No, Bob, I'm no, begging you. Oh, just tonight, Bob, please, I'm begging you. Won't you please record tonight, please? I'm in love. Oh, Bob, that was just beautiful. <laughs> oh, really, oh, I'm telling you, that was wonderful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> How's it feel, Mr. Peck? <laughs> How did it sound to you back there? Oh, just great, Bob. <laughs> what do you want to do next, Uncle Bob? Well, let's see. Um, what, what would you like to hear, Harm? I'd like to hear somebody offer to hold this mic. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a suggestion, Peggy? I'm in the mood for love. Well, later, honey. I'm, oh, you mean the, the song. <laughs> let's see. You know, I've got a better idea than that. I've joined the Bobolinks. One way or another, you're going to have a wild fowl accompaniment. <laughs> Where is Bobby? Bobby! 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 It's not particularly wild, but it's foul. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. We're moving the studio. <laughs> Part of Philippa Farnsworth was played by Gail Robbins, Bert Mason by Will Wright, Thelma Klemper by Francis Pasco, the agent was Jerry Hausner, and the movie hoodlum was Paul Freese. 
furs by Teitelbaum. This is Bill Baldwin speaking.